Boston in a building where many great champions have been crowned. And right now, the tag team titles are on the line. The champions, Kofi Kingston and our truth against the unlikely team of Daniel Bryan and Kane. Uh, talk about an odd couple, Michael. With everything we've seen from Bryan and Kane in the past few weeks, I gotta wonder if Dr. Shelby's anger management therapy can turn these two into a cohesive unit. What do you know about therapist Saxton? They've been thrusted into this position while the champions have been centered around their teamwork for the past five months. Kane and Bryan only have anger management in common. I wouldn't call that a building block towards tag team titles. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Kane and Daniel Bryan are seeming to get along thus far, Corey. Yeah, they're getting along for one reason to get rid of that quack Dr. Shelby. Even I would try to get along with you, Cole, if it meant not listening to Dr. Shelby. It doesn't get more blatant than that. I mean, I don't understand how the officials not seeing this. The strikes have a little extra on them tonight. I can't tell you how many victims have suffered the same fate. This man meets business. You know, Byron Kane and Daniel Bryan almost accidentally stumbled into this title opportunity. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Perfectly executed. Kane has held 11 tag team titles in his career. Got yeah, a chance for 12, but Daniel Bryan's going to have to help. Kane going to go up high. Oh boy, he is rolling. And King manages to reverse out of that one. Our troop with a nice reversal. And no luck against Kane there. He's making a statement here with this attack. I need to say, guys, if Daniel Bryan and Kane can work together and with Kane with a vice-like grip on his opponent's skull. It's heating up now. Come on, R-Truth, you can do this. Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Color me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. Quick thinking to avoid that one. Here comes R-Truth. Oh, oh, that's what's up. You have to like his chances here. Man, almost broken in half there. Here comes Archer. Maybe a figment of your imagination, but little Jimmy hurts. I'm not... Oh, and he hits the axe handle. A rolling elbow. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Ever since Kofi and R-Truth became allies, they've been on a tear in WWE. They know how to work together as a tag team. Then on the other side of the ring, judging from the last few weeks, Kane and Daniel Bryan are far from being on the same page. Same page? Daniel and Kane aren't even retained. We talk about being on the same page and Truth and Kofi's tombstone pile driver. Nailed it. I can't believe it, Michael. Jeez, I felt that one over here. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. And he lands the leg drop. He goes down hard. Tagged in. Double axe handle. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. And the big guy is feeling awfully good about himself right now. Here comes R-Truth, just driven down with such power, guys. I think he's got him covered. Digging deep for a kick out. Too soon. When this guy's on, look out. Guys, when the WWE Universe has the power on Monday Night Raw, they can be really nutty. Case in point, a few weeks ago, the WWE Universe voted on social media to have Daniel Bryan and Kane hug it out in the middle of the ring. Yes, folks.
hug it out. Uh, yeah, it was not a sight we usually see in a WWE ring. Kane and Daniel appeared to be two people that have never given a hug in their whole life. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Maybe the WWE Universe is still getting into the head of Daniel Bryan here. Look out. There he goes. Knocked right off his feet. Oh boy, he is rolling. Ooh, no luck against Kingston there. Kofi just too fast. Knocked off his feet. Now that's a takedown. He can crank it up whenever the mood strikes him. Daniel Bryan has so much on his mind right now. He was both looking for the win. He's inflicting some serious pain here. This one is over. Our truth is preaching the truth as he knows it. Eludes that one. Turning it around, it's Kofi Kingston with the reversal. In comes our truth. That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. Oh, that's what's up. Our truth back in control here. Here comes our truth. Maybe a figment of your imagination, but little Jimmy hurts. This could do it. Uh oh. One. Truth and Kofi dancing their way to a win tonight. That match might go down as one of the best matches in WWE history. Here are your winners and still WWE Tag Team Champions, Kofi Kingston. And the big boot connects. We're in Boston in a building where many great champions have been crowned. And right now, the tag team titles are on the line. The champions, Kofi Kingston and our truth against the unlikely team of Daniel Bryan and Kane. Uh, talk about an odd couple, Michael. With everything we've seen from Bryan and Kane in the past few weeks, I gotta wonder if Dr. Shelby's anger management therapy can turn these two into a cohesive unit. What do you know about the therapist, Saxton? They've been thrusted into this position while the champions have been centered around their teamwork for the past five months. Kane and Bryan only have anger management in common. I wouldn't call that a building block towards tag team titles. Showing off his vertical with that drop kick. Nice move. Leading up to this match, a lot of praise was thrown on Kofi and our truth Kofi being a three-time Intercontinental Champion and both having time as United States Champion. Well, Daniel Bryan has his accolades as well. Of course, Daniel Bryan won the United States Championship at the same pay-per-view two years ago against The Miz. He also went on to win a Money in the Bank and become a World Heavyweight Champion. Bringing up Daniel Bryan's time as World Heavyweight Champion, he did lose that title in only 18 seconds to Sheamus at WrestleMania. Why? Why do you have to go and bring that up, Saxton? You know Daniel's in a fragile state right now. You bring up a moment where he's caught off guard and hit by a now outlawed pro kick. A big spot in the match here. R-Truth and little Jimmy, please. If anyone needs Dr. Shelby, it's R-Truth. The guy's seeing things. He's holding ropes to let an imaginary person into the ring. Forget Daniel Bryan and Kane. Someone please help R-Truth. I think R-Truth is doing just fine. This week, WWE.com had a pictorial about little Jimmy's family. Portraits like little Jimmy in a birthday party hat. Pretty fabulous. Cole, I was reaching out to get R-Truth help for his imaginary delusion. But you're here enabling self-destructive behavior. We know what having imaginary friends well into adulthood can do to a person. We've seen what it's done to Saxton. Well, I would have to refute that, okay? I'm a well-adjusted adult gentleman with many real-world friends. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. 
Oh, I think this man means business. He's a spinning ball of energy. Oh. So, Michael, let Kane with a vice-like grip on his opponent's skull. This just might be enough for him to take the victory here. The situation just got real bad for Kofi Kingston. Kane is looking at this right now. Choke slam straight to hell. Let's see that again. Definitely worth a second look. With a 180, Kofi Kingston, the reversal. What a shot to the back. Kane has held 11 tag team titles in his career. Yeah, there's a chance for 12, but Daniel Bryan's going to have to help. And there's the tag, our truth into the ring. Kane showing some expert prowess here. Oh, what a chop block. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. You know, I have to say, I've seen some progress in Kane and Daniel Bryan's anger management. I don't think they are all the way there, but there's been definite progress. I see it too, Michael. We don't see Daniel screaming in the face of fans anymore. He's keeping his composure pretty well. And Kane, well, Kane is still Kane. There is some deep-rooted trouble within that one. Knocked off his feet. Now that's a takedown. In comparing Daniel Bryan and Kane's progress in therapy, I think there are two different cases. Bryan had an emotional breakdown brought on by the WWE Universe, whereas Kane has just been sick and demented since birth. Well, one of those things for sure, they're both off the rocker in my estimation. Great job, Dr. Cook. Here comes Arch. One move after the other. It's devastating. Big opportunity here. The win is within grasp for our truth. Oh, boy, he is rolling. I need to say, guys, if Daniel Bryan and Kane can work together and win here tonight, Dr. Shelby deserves a Nobel Peace Prize. Well, I hate to burst your bubble, Cole, but I have it on good authority that Dr. Shelby isn't even a certified therapist. My sources on the health board say he dropped out of medical school to visit Tibet on some kind of spiritual excursion. That guy's a fraud. Tagged in. And a hammer fist right across the collarbone. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. How does he keep doing this? It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. Oh boy, he is rolling. Brutal bulldog right there. We've been seeing Daniel and Kane in therapy for weeks now. It's not anger management that these two need. What they need... He's looking at it. He's inflicting some serious pain here. This one's over, guys. And our truth evades that one. Oh, my. Our truth Now it's time to... He's got the shoulders down. One. I can't believe it. He just kicked out. Too soon. You know, Corey, I see Daniel's issues with the S-Champ, but I don't have a problem with it. I mean, even in Montreal, where we were for Raw this past week, the crowd chants, wee, wee, wee. So these Yes-Champs are becoming bilingual. Very cute, Cole. Daniel Bryan just a few feet away, and you're doing that. You should see if your friend Dr. Shelby does sensitivity training as well, because you... controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Leading up to this match, a lot of praise was thrown on Kofi and our truth Kofi being a three-time Intercontinental Champion and both having time as United States Champion. Well, Daniel Bryan has his accolades as well. Of course, Daniel Bryan won the United States Championship at the same pay-per-view two years ago against The Miz. He also went on to win a Money in the Bank and become a World Heavyweight Champion. Bringing up Daniel Bryan's time as World Heavyweight Champion. He did lose that title in only 18 seconds to Sheamus at WrestleMania. Why? Why do you have to go and bring that up, Saxton? You know Daniel's in a fragile state right now, and you bring up a moment where he was caught off guard and hit by a now outlawed road kick. Maybe the 
WWE Universe is still getting into the head of Daniel Bryan here. Drop kick. Great athleticism. And that's the tag to Kofi Kingston. Going after the back here. to think. I almost wrote him off earlier. Here he goes for the win! Two! And the fight must go on. He's got some more fight in him, guys. This is ridiculous maneuver by Kofi Kingston. Kofi once again rises. Had a poor drop by a clothesline. Kofi once again rising to the occasion. When this guy's on, Look out. Look out. He flew through the air with one objective to destroy. But he can end it here. What is keeping this competitor going? Wow. That's pure power, guys. There comes Daniel Bryan sending Kingston across the ring. And Daniel Bryan looking to put Kofi Kingston away for the tag team titles. Ooh. Kick. Kingston's in trouble. The Kane are in oh, peril. Wait. The big red machine making the long climb to the top rope. I don't think Bryan uh, wanted Kane to make the tag. No, not at all. He felt like he was in control. And now Kane is heading up top. It's just a matter of time until this team implodes. We know they can't stand each Kofi other. Kofi Kingston. Look at Bryan. Bryan is hanging out to the ankle of Kane. Kingston. Crash and burn. And now Daniel Bryan. Shoved away oh, by Kane. This is hilarious. 